Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Thornton, and today I will be talking about Ninja Plus by Matthew Garrett with a bit of GIR, which I still don't know loads about. But yeah, the point of this is it's nearly Blackpool, and I wanted two of the good stuff to look out for. Before we do this, usual things, if you like it and want to subscribe to it, like it and subscribe to it. If you want to learn magic or become better at magic or be taught by me over 800 videos, live sessions every week, special guests such as David Williams from Looch, Andy Gladwin, and I'm sure Matthew Garrett will come on at some point. I think he did say he wanted to do a video on me. Anyway, um, and loads of other great, lovely people. Uh, have a look at that, 9 99 a month, you can cancel any time. Preposterous, preposterous nonsense, charging that much. I should be charging you hundreds. Well, which I will if you stay on <laughs> for stay on for months. But there you go. Right, uh, I, I'm really excited about talking about this because I like bringing you things that you might see every year at Blackpool, and because they're there every year, you go, "Oh, she's that again." As I did. Now, I've my journey with the Lincoln Rings, I think, is an important one. I went through the period of going. I saw Shoot a Gower do it, and you know Matthew talks about Shoot a Gower's routine. Just adored it. Thought it was the most magical thing ever. Learned it. Started thinking it was a bit naff because that's what everybody told me it was. Then I was in the, <laughs> the Magic Circle Close Up Magician of the Year in about 1925, it seems like. Matthew Garrett was there and he did his Ninja Plus. And I didn't really watch his routine because I was terrified sitting in the corner shaking. But, you know, I thought, yeah, he's doing a Lincoln Ring routine. What, with finger rings? That ruins it. It's purity. That's what you want. Lincoln Rings with finger nonsense. Uh, didn't really watch it. He beat me. I got all upset and didn't like it at all internally. Um, externally, I was like, oh, great. <laughs> um, and then time passed. I saw people, again, like I've gone on about this for ages, like uh, Axel Heckler, I'll do the rings, go back to watching Stuart Gower. Um, uh, the other Lincoln ring, the, the Romero ring, the Romero, no, gosh, Malero, Romero. <laughs> The Romero, look, oh, you idiot, Malero. <laughs> oh. There you go. Cut, let's start again. No, let's not. Saw that, learned that, got back into it, thought it was enough again, then started performing it, and now I completely love it. Got these and just, I was away for 10 days, completely geeked out on it. It's brilliant. The whole fingering thing's brilliant. It's all brilliant. So, I'm telling you this, I know you know about Lincoln rings, the rings are well made, all that kind of stuff. The routine with the fingering is so brilliant, it's a joy to learn, bits of it are difficult, which to me makes it a joy to learn, it's a real flow experience. But you know what, the minute you've learned those bits, even if you, you, there's a bit where the small ring goes from the top to the middle to the bottom, sometimes it'd take me like <laughs> 10 guns to do it. And when it finally, people would still go, whoa, it was almost like it cancelled out the kind of 10 failures before it before it the just the people watching this done a, in a kind of not in a bad way but in a kind of very basic way by me gets the reactions it, I just think it's all beautiful the way it's all put together the way it works the, the retention of vision with some of the stuff the links the unlinks the challenge of it the flow of it and it was something I could stick in my back pocket and just get into just love it so even even without the small ring which is a ninja plus and you get the gimmick, everything you want with it. You get the ring with it, and you might be going, oh, I'm going to do it with borrowed rings. It's, I think it's actually better doing it with the ring, and actually some moves you need the ring that you get with it. But it's, it's big and it's visual, and there's certain things, especially when you're learning it, you're not going to want to kind of pick up other people's, um, you know, very expensive diamond rings and start banging a thing through it, even though it's got this great bit where Matthew <laughs> puts a bit on a, someone's nut, a forehead and does it. He doesn't recommend doing that, but... The learning in it's great. There is hours and hours of stuff here. So the whole thing is a masterclass in small Lincoln rings. Now, from what I know, the GIR is so that that shows you, you know, w without showing any, you know, key rings, that the links are linked and uh, ling link rings are linked, <laughs> and you, you, there's no gap, etc. Um, and this is taking a traditional routine and kind of adapting it. And, and I did get an extension kit, so I've got like now a 10 ring set, so I can kind of adapt my stage a uh, bit to it. And I showed some people that, and they really like that too. So I think the learning of it's great, the performing of it's great, the visual of it's great. Don't listen to the people that say, Lincoln Ring's enough, it's a magic prop. Of course it is, that's why it's good. That's why people like it. You get them out at an event and people are just transfixed. 
you can do slow silent stuff you can adapt actual stuff to it you can do and, and shoot a go has some lovely silent links you can do fast snappy stuff and I think it's an absolute masterpiece of a routine. And I think Matthew Garrett is there for a reason every year doing the same thing because he is a master at doing it and a master at teaching it. It's just wonderful stuff. And he deserved to beat me in the classic uh, magic, close up magician of the year at the Magic Circle. So well done, finally. You deserved it. Uh, better than my hacky cups and balls routine. So there you go. Go and have a look at that when you're at Blackpool, but also check out the site and the links below. I think you'll really enjoy uh, using and performing with them. Thanks very much. Have a great one. Cheers. Online Magic.co, Steve Fuller's Magic Show podcast, the convention special. Thanks. <laughs>